Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play and then Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. And where we left off, I think we were right, yeah, right outside the asylum from the first game. That, come to think of it, I don't really remember how to get in there. I might not even have the items I need to get in there, come to think of it. Let's try the door, though. The door was firmly locked. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna guess the key that we got from the asylum's truck might work on the door, maybe? The door was firmly locked. What? What a little scoundrel. The sneaky hamster had once again crossed Lily's plans. But despite this, Lily had no intentions of exacting a bloody revenge. Ah, oh, yes. Well, this is gonna be an interesting puzzle to solve. A very easy one, but an interesting one nonetheless. What a rascal. The hamster had once again pilfered one of Lily's items. But despite this, there was that owl again. Ah, oh, yes, well. The idea was good. Lily would have also made it. She could stay. Alright, they reused something from previous, like the first few minutes of the game, but yeah. Owl whistle. We were owl exterminators. Or in this case, hamster exterminators. Lily was glad. It was so rare that her friends got along so well with each other. Of course, this was also because she hardly had any friends. Much more important, however, was that the asylum key was no longer out of reach. It had fallen into one of the dark bushes. I may watch too much Futurama, just so we know. The key had fallen into the bush. It was very dark in there, but Lily wasn't afraid. After all, it was just a bush. Yeah. Why did the child have to be so careless all the time? Chapter 3, The Asylum. How one goes from looking through a bush to falling through a hole that size. That's a mystery for the ages of video games to be answered, I don't know. Ooh, keys. Alright, and now we are officially in the last portion of the game. I'd say the last third of the game. The puzzles from here on out get kind of complicated if you're not aware of it. An inflatable dinghy had caught in the sewer grate. People flushed the strangest things. Never mind how they managed to flush an ore, which... Pretty sure that's not physically possible in our realm of, our realm of physics, but alright. Now, there is an important thing with that boat that we'll get into in probably around a minute. The door was firmly locked. Or maybe it'll be less time than that, I don't remember. It was less time. Right, because there's nothing to do. I, I never actually tried to go here without getting in the boat. Because that boat's kind of a big neon sign saying, get in the boat. I've always just did it without questioning it. Alright, let's get in the boat though, seriously. Alright, oh, I actually have to, okay. Didn't know I actually had to move. Thought it was going to be one of those automatic movement things. Apparently not. Okay, Lily, I know you're not exactly what you call... Wait, was Stephen Hawking in the rowing thing, or is that somebody else? I know, somebody really, really intelligent and really famous that wasn't exactly a sports superstar. Used to be in a boating club. For college, I think, but the point is, I know you're not exactly, you know, a fisherwoman or anything, but, I mean, you're moving like two inches, your your arms are moving like two inches, that's not enough speed to really do much of anything. Was there a point to going this far? I actually forget. Uh. Oh, good, good news, everyone! This was completely pointless, and I pretty much just wasted everybody's time, I think. Why didn't I use the keys on the door? Why did I not use the keys on the damn door? That's a real good question, Barak. The one, you know, the one you just picked up. Huh. Well, who do we have here? A little girl. Just stay where you are, okay? Hey, stop! No, don't think I will. Hey, 
Come back. Of course, I'm kind of in a corner here. You can't hide out on the water forever. You'll have to come ashore sometime, and then I'll get you. Okay. Um. You're not going to think of it. I don't really remember what to do here. Maybe now's the time to go to the left. I don't. I. Come back. Damn it, man. Let me get to that ladder. It's all I want. I want to get over it. I can't even skip this. You're going to make me watch it all. Oh, crap. There has to be something I'm missing here, and I feel like a, a moron doing it. So, just carelessly, but... I don't really remember what to do here, so pardon my ignorance. I generally try and avoid situations like this, generally, because it's kind of boring to watch somebody go, I don't know what to do, man. Give up! You can't get away! Especially not against the current! Hmm. I don't think this is a good hey, idea. This isn't gonna work. Triumphantly, Lily climbed the ladder. She had finally found a way to get into the institution. I don't think that really should have worked. He was right Not there. So fast. Yeah, kind of like that. Come on, Lily. I kind of forgot all about that, actually. That little thing there with the power. Oh, I actually have to... Although she was briefly distracted by a floating energy smarty, Lily was able to reach the ledge. Not a moment too soon as the ladder crashed down behind her, dragging the phantom into the pit with it. No! Fortified by the energy smarty, Lily was able to pull herself up on the ledge. Now her search for Edna could continue. I've forgotten about that whole actually clicking on the edge thing. I was sitting there waiting, going, any minute now. The map had more holes in it than Lily Socks. The mice there were apparently quite desperate. Ah, oh, yes, the punch card. This is a part of a puzzle. This whole room is a puzzle that allows you to get into different areas of the asylum. The asylum is very different from the first game. The first game, you could walk around the entire thing mostly, except with the, you know, flying around on dry cleaning thing but this is quite a bit different I don't remember what to do though I remember you have to use these punch cards into the different card readers I just don't remember which one to go into which one first uh, can I go through let's start from the right and just start that way that actually worked holy crap usually you start from the left and things work not the right uh, I think I remember you. Who was afraid of the boogeyman? Right. Not Lily. Uh, hey, that's my fireplace. You shouldn't be here unless you want to bring presents or sweep the chimney. Not that the soot is bothering me. That was the old Mr. Frock. The new Mr. Frock is enjoying the dirt. Ah, oh, dirt. You see? Yeah, Mr. Frock, if you're not, if you never played the first game or never watched my other Let's Play of the first game, Mr. Frock was obsessed with keeping his, he believed, I think he believed he was a piece of clothing and he was a neat freak, he didn't want to get dirty, so, big difference. Um, yes, I know that it's dirty here, so what? I love the cobwebs, the dust, and that rotting substance in the corner. I just finished combing it. I wouldn't dust here even if you put a feather duster right in my hand. You don't have a feather duster, do you? Um... Uh, Stop! I don't want to know. Um... I'm living in a sooty chimney. So what? I used to be very fastidious about staying clean. Now, I don't care anymore. You're now speaking with the dark Mr. Frock, who eats his gummy bears without a napkin. <laughs> That's Mr. Frock to you. And in case you're wondering what a piece of clothing like me is doing inside a fireplace, I'm acquiring soot 
That's right. I used to be very fastidious, but then this impertinent person came along and dared to spill something on me. The stains never came out. My clothing is black and greasy. My socks haven't been ironed, and I even have fleas. Karen and Bertram, I'd introduce them to you, but they're sleeping right now. Do you want two guesses as to who the impertinent person was that spilled something on Mr. Frock? It might have been this person. Don't trust me, though. Uh, somehow you remind me of a patient we used to have here. She was a little taller than you. And I think I remember two red horns and a tail. D you don't need to mumble like that. Ever since Dr. Marcel's accident, we can make as much noise here as we want. He's no longer interested in what's going on inside the asylum. All of his attention is focused on finding Edna. Okay then, that's pretty much all we have to talk with him about, so let's get moving to the roof. Actually, I was gonna say, now that I think about it, I think that thing might be an entrance somewhere else. I just did not really look that hard. Oh, we remember this guy, B-Man! And no, I'm not talking about the Harley from Batman yelling, Hey, B-Man. And no... I'm not trying to do an impression. I just don't like B Man. The 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 the, the yeah word. Lily had never seen such an unhappy man in a B costume before, but she also hadn't really traveled much. Well, you meet all kinds in the world. Um. Uh huh. It was hopeless. The man in the B costume couldn't hear Lily from there. Moths fluttered around the dim light of the lamp. They were apparently searching for food. I don't think there's really much you can actually do up there right now, but... Can I actually go in here? Yes, I can. Good. I forgot all about that. Ooh, I see something we can use here. Well, pretty much the only thing we can really do is grab the cheese. There lay a slice of Swiss cheese. There was never any cheese in the convent. Mostly just holes. Now... What could we possibly gonna be using cheese for? And what happened to our inventory? All right, we fell down a hole, and presumably they fall, fell out of our pockets. Or pocket. Do skirts have pockets? I don't know if skirts have pockets. It doesn't really matter. I guess it... That is one of the many questions a 26-year-old man, soon to be 27, does not know the answer to if they have holes in skirts. So, you know, forgive me for my ignorance. Now, what are we going to be doing with the cheese? Actually, what are we going to be doing with the... All right, the cheese. I am the cheese. I don't think that's the way scanners work, but yeah, that'll work. Ironically. And now we are, oh right, not the, not there. I didn't want to just go in and get in and get out. No, uh, let's see, here we go. Wait a minute, is that the same? Uh Lily had inadvertently broken off the leg of the chair. It was as pointy as a knife. Hopefully the funny little rabbit hadn't seen anything. But Lily, what are you doing there? Don't you remember? You must not use sharp objects. Just don't touch it, okay? See you around. Yeah, what I was going to say is, uh, is that the same broken chair leg from the first game, from like the first puzzle of the game? Because if it is, that is awesome. Lily had inadvertently it was. All right, now what else do we have in here that we could possibly make use of? Were there other Belgian pizza delivery services in the area? I uh, never heard of a Belgian pizza delivery service, but then again, I live in a small town. Lily had had to use a feather duster in the convent on more than one occasion, and sometimes she secretly tried it. What? What does that mean? Tried it in what manner of the word? You know what? You know what? Let's just ignore that. I'm not gonna get sucked into the vortex of this insanity here. Okay, so, can we actually pick this up? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna guess this is basically just a regular brochure. Other Belgian well, I get. Well, let's just try and put two and two together. We could I could use a pizza. I like pepperoni and bacon and like it like the next guy. Welcome to Spamish Pizza Service. My name is Pokey. Can I take your order? Um 
one on the asylum. Is that right? I assume that we just shove it under the gate as usual. What toppings? Uh. Hello? Hello? Can I take your order? Uh. One with nothing coming up. Consider it done. It'll be about 30 to 45 minutes. Have a nice day. Now there is a reason why we wanted to order the pizza, beyond just the fact that pizza is one of God's gift to men. But, yeah, there is a reason for it that we will get into a little while later. Uh, I... Can I open this? I never... Oh, I guess I... No, I guess I can, and I did before, because these are important. Yellow bananas. Red tomatoes. No. Not the... <sighs> Getting real sick of that. No, there we go. There we go. Just have to get in the right spot. As much as I'm sure you'd love to hear. Green broccoli. And the ever triumphant. Blue blueberries. Really? Did we have to say blue blueberries? We couldn't have just left it at blueberries. All right, all right. I'll I'll light it, lighten up. Damn it! I forgot something in there. I think. Somebody had left their credit card in their coat pocket. A certain... Hey! That was Dr. Marcel's credit card. How about that? Oh, that should be good old-fashioned vengeance. We should have used Dr. Marcel's credit card to pay for the pizza. Excuse me, to pay for the pizza, man. Be great. Alright, let's see here. Is that the pizza we just ordered? It looks like it might be, but what is that green stuff on it? One spermy margarita pizza, please. Hmm. But yeah, I was also trying to just not bring up the name of the pizza place in an attempt that people wouldn't giggle. I I know you probably giggled. If you didn't, you're more mature than I am. But the point. <laughs> but the point here is. Lily was certain. Somewhere in the dark uncertainty, there she would find her friend. What was the funny rabbit doing there? He seemed not to have noticed Lily yet. Huh? What was the funny rabbit? He seemed not... Something just don't sit right with me right now, so we'll come back to the funny rabbit here in a minute. Okay, so... This gentleman, well, let's not beat around the bush, he looks like a violent sociopath. Well, I guess that's not really fair. I was going to say a sociopath, but I think I really meant more of a psychopath, really. Bitty, 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 whoosh. Welcome to the laundrette. That was your cue to say, this is supposed to be a laundrette, and I'll answer, of course. Oh, admittedly, it's a little rusty, but necessity is the mother of invention. Mother knows best. And now, we're doing our laundry in the urinals. Too wishy-washy for you? What other choice do we have? Exactly none. You don't have to, you know. Just make sure that the fabrics are separated properly. The toilet sanitizers really stay. We'll do the red laundry in the urinal with the red toilet sanitizer. Yellow laundry in the urinal with the yellow toilet sanitizer. Blue laundry in the urinal with the blue toilet sanitizer. And green laundry in the urinal with the green toilet sanitizer. If you want to try it, just show me some clothing with the right color. Then you can use the matching urinal as often as you want. No, he's completely serious. You literally have to go and use all these nasty urinals. It seemed the laundry there was neatly sorted and washed according to differently colored urinals. Lily thought that you can take cleanliness a bit too far sometimes. But that was pretty. The towel reminded Lily of one that Mother Superior confiscated from her. I'm gonna take it. Can I take this bleach? A bottle of starch? Well, Lily could really use it. Oh, I'm sorry. Starch, not bleach. It looked like bleach container. So sue me. Ooh, a knitting needle. Lily liked needles. One time, she even secretly took one from home economics class. She kept it stashed in her mattress and only took it out at night when everyone was sleeping. 
I guess that's not as disturbing as it first sounded. I mean, what harm could a needle possibly cause besides poking it in someone's eyeball when they're asleep? I'm sorry about that. But Lily, what are you doing there? Don't you remember? You must not just don't touch it, see you around. I don't know why I always forget stupid stuff like that, but I always do. I always forget to do stuff like that. But I don't think there's anything in the bathroom that we can really do quite yet. I think I missed something somewhere. I'm pretty sure I did. Maybe in the surveillance room, or is that where I just came from? The door was firmly locked. Apparently not. Can I go right or left? No, no, no. Don't open that. I want to go. R oh, I guess I can't go right. Well, crap. The door was firmly locked. <laughs> Surprised to see me again? Yes, keep kicking. You won't escape me again. And now hold still until I've decided what to do with you. Lily considered this option but instead did the following. Okay, so at this point, we have to get out of the Phantom's grip, and this will probably be the last thing we do for today. Now I just have to remember exactly how you do that. I'm not sure. I'm going to guess we can't use the broken chair leg because it's sharp, but I might as well try it. You must not use sharp objects. Yeah, I kind of figured as much. Okay, feather dusters aren't sharp, are they? I could just poke him in the eye with the blunt end of the feather duster. It's not sharp. It should technically work. The Phantom didn't look like he was open for negotiations. Okay, so I kind of screwed the pooch here. I think what you're actually supposed to do is... Strange. The silly rabbit didn't even react to Lily's ball of wool. Or maybe I was wrong completely. Hmm. Well, now... This is a bit of a pickle now, isn't it? I know we're not supposed to use the bottle of starch yet. I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to use the silk scarf yet. So what am I missing? That doesn't... It doesn't... Oh, wait. Uh, no. The Phantom. Damn it. I forget. To help Lily. Okay, so that's... Oh, I see. And now we're in the alternate dimension of the Asylum. Always a fun area. But, unfortunately, this is where this is gonna end today. Thank you guys very much for watching. As always, if you have any anecdotes like last time, someone educated me on the finer facts of who Rolf was and who they referenced, and, uh... Damn, developers, you really tossed that in there without me even knowing what it was. <laughs> oh, man. But this game is dark, and I love it. Though I don't agree with all the humor. But thank you guys very much for watching. As always, if you help, if you like to help support the channel, you may wish to like or even subscribe for easier access to future videos. And hopefully, I shall see you next time. Farewell, everyone.